Hi guys, welcome back to another video of the T Dragon. Today, what we'll be doing is exploring the brand new update of Bed War. This update is slightly small, I would say. It is not something very big. So, they added Lucky Block, Airdrop, plus Do It. Do It, as you know, the game mode, they didn't change anything. So, now Airdrop, Lucky Block, and also uh, the Eliminated Time game mode have become Do It. Which is what I'm not that happy about. Currently, I have 8 Wind Streak on Do It, and I really don't want to just go and ruin it all. I actually, I don't really care about it that much. Much, but yeah, it actually make uh, make it much more interesting. But before we dive into the breath, that like, subscribe, and notification so you won't make any more video of the channel. And let's get into okay, it. Okay, so heading to our first map. From what I look, it is just a really normal map. It is called the Badland. I have actually played the entire thing once. And I would say that it is really good and interesting since the map design have a lot of uh, western style. But the thing is, lucky block in this game, uh, in this map, are super, super difficult just because of those all of those hell, and it will spawn everywhere that you can't imagine. Now we're gonna go and put our magical command to boom up the generator a bit. So we're gonna go mid and we're gonna get a guided missile to explore if we actually need to. Because obviously I don't have any sort of free camp command. Then it wouldn't really make sense if I do. Uh, that is only for creators like DV or anybody like that. So... Now we're gonna mine those, you would see the uh, rain of the special lucky block. But what I'm kinda disappointed is they didn't add any new item. There's one item I've never seen before, but I'm not exactly sure is it is a new one because it doesn't do anything. I can't do, a I can do absolutely nothing within it. It looks like a, so the thing model like a gun, but it feel like it, you can't actually hit enemy with it. I, I, I haven't hit enemy with it because I know it might not gonna work, but maybe it will actually work. My prediction can be wrong. So, that's the thing. We might be able to test that later, that, that gun thingy, because it is actually in the super rare lucky block, so it actually doesn't, might not disappoint you. So, yeah, that's the thing. It can be something like super high damage gun, but oh wow that is actually such a strong defense uh got a mega shield potion mega shield potion it is really important these say guide him missile the only thing you can do with it so now it finally to stay the end for the raven kit you do not want raven kit anymore ever again it doesn't do anything raven kit not raven the only thing is the constant poison damage is better than guide the missile popping balloon that is literally all it does it doesn't do anything else and it's time to explore the map i'm gonna send out a rocket fly up in the air so as you can see for this map we're gonna explode soon though so the simple way to explain this map is that in the middle there's a lot of uh crayon area and also there would be like a western style of a minecraft somewhere of there minecart plaything so that is the basically the order of this map contain we're gonna wait for the super lucky block then going to visit all the other maps. okay now we have gotten to another map it is actually one of my most favorite map because the thing is it is perfect for elder tree well, you have to get it first, but it is actually perfect for Elder Tree, and also it is really perfect for Lucky Block either. The reason I say for that, it is because the map is so flat, it literally have the highest block is only about like 8 block tall. That is the highest building you can see ever. And now, because Builder Kit is free, you're gonna be very annoyed when you were trying to break bed. Because a single builder hammer can make this thing insanely unbreakable. Yeah, I know I'm breaking with a pickaxe, but it can have double of the durability. And it, it and it actually doesn't get of explosion. So, 
that make people impossible to get in and kill the bad. The reason why they didn't nerf uh, balloon, like you can't play TNT during balloon, is because that is the most viable strategy uh, if you want to rob a team bad when there's four people defending. You can't 1v4 unless you completely outgear them. Like, you have diamond and raid blade and only have nothing. That That's the only chance you can ever do it. So we're gonna use the guided missile to quickly view. Actually, if we use raven, we can, but that is just too dark for the viewing. And we're gonna quickly go ahead. Oh yeah, we do need four diamond. I don't know why guided missile is considered armory. I mean, it is not that uh, important at all. I would say it is the important level is probably like three. But the most important thing it can do because it is AKA Raven, but without that poison. Also, it does two damage. So two time of damage the second damage is one and the other damage is 48 i don't know where the one damage come from is i don't know it just kind of confused me but what we know is that it will pop balloon twice sometimes it shows zero damage it still pop balloon because the system of balloon say that if uh in bed war only negative numbers mean that this thing doesn't work like if you if you have zero health, it will you will be able to survive. But if you had negative one health, you won't be able to survive. Which is kind of of a cool thing, I believe. And we're also gonna wait quickly for the rain of the lucky block. The only thing I say, why can't they spawn in the middle? I can tell you that the raining lucky block, the ultra rare lucky block, it will spawn on your base or it can be enemy base. So, the two ending. One, you're super strong, you manage to defeat everybody, you get the best gear, you killed everyone. Second, you're not strong enough, everyone come to rush you, you're better dead, your people dead, your game is lost. So, it is kind of, uh, actually, we don't even need to really do any uh, rocket. We can stand in the middle and do a bit of rocket to roam around and see. So, the usual stuff, like this is the stadium in the middle. There's like a explosion stuff. I will say that I love this map. since It is nice and simple. And both are very viable on this map because it doesn't have holy amount of cover. Which is what I actually like the most. And we're gonna wait for the lucky block ring. Okay, we have actually finally waited for the lucky block dropping to happen. And I can tell you, it will go in the void. So, claim it when you can. Otherwise, sometimes it can be about 5, 6 boxes. Sometimes it can only be 2 or 3. I saw 4 box dropping and now there's only apparently about 2 box alive. The rest is all not there. So we're gonna open it and the first thing we got is the black hole. Black hole and it's three black hole. It can eliminate a whole team. Why black hole is overpowered? Because you, when you realize that you can stuck the enemy and break the bed while the enemy getting stuck inside, you will know how overpowered this thing is. And the worst you can get inside here, it is a random teleport and a clone. But the good thing you can get there is a gun that I was talking about. I think you have to use it to attack people. I don't know what it will do, but I guess it will do something. And also you will have about one third of the chance to get raid blade. Raid blade are very, very common. It's like one if you open the box, you are nearly guaranteed to get a raid blade. And this is the theodite, which is pretty uh, important in game, but I've never actually used it. And my luck to see the theodite is insanely bad. But that is basically Oh, we are gonna see inside this thing. So the, so actually it wasn't really that interesting because it doesn't really give you much special stuff. So for black hole, it is the black hole. So if I get stuck inside the gurn key, no way I can come out. You can, but in a really, really, really slowly scenario. So if I got stuck inside, I'm gonna try to run out. 
Like, it will be super, super difficult. Your gravity can barely... And now I am pressing the shift button. You will nearly guarantee to stuck in tight till the end duration of the black hole. Once somebody killed me with a genius trap. They had three portable bridge and they suffocated me when I was inside the black hole. Like, they just suffocated me so I can't do anything even though I have emerald armor. Even though we won that anyway, but still it is just a uh, way to uh, overpower shine now we're gonna head to the last okay so head to our last map of the day we got the heaven heaven it is a really special map i would love it so first you're spawning in somewhere like a cloud and there is rainbow oh we got the doodle bird nice oh it actually called doodle bird i actually just realized that I always thought it's called Doodle Bird since uh, one of my friends always say Doodle Bird so I just completely forget that it's supposed to be called Dodo Bird. And as you can see this rainbow, you can get the entire map for you. And the most favorite part of this map I like but it obviously won't work normally. Oh wait, what? Did my bird just got stuck in the rainbow? You, I want, I managed to hide to win the game. I won the game by hiding in this map. I remember I built a sky tower all the way up, uh, surrounding myself, and nobody ever see me. Well, it's not I am being a coward or something. I was just trying to grind uh, EXP, and plus it is a solo squad game, nobody is with me. And I just simply win the game by camping the whole game through. And that time I have to FK. So, let's go explore the real middle part. So there's a lot of lucky block, obviously all of those lucky blocks might give us some good stuff. We can use this pie for doing a lot of things. So you can see that there is rainbow on the side also. Later I will show that why this map in some view it looks beautiful. So in the middle there's also four rainbows surrounding, there's four pole. And if I attach it to a random special area, for example, here, you will realize that it will actually perfectly attack the rainbow. So if I do this, it will actually make like the perfect attaching rainbow to make the entire thing look a lot more cool. And this speed is crazy. It is seriously crazy. It just... Uh, too overpowered and also if you're wondering why the two tesla here we will quickly show you what is the tesla for so you know how before people just spam the tesla down and try to waste your health first that strategy won't work if you only place down one or two is fine but not like five or six you are gonna get killed before your enemy the best you can do is kill your enemy but die uh, but you will die too but now, that is never going to happen. Why? Because now Tesla takes 6 seconds to charge. As you can see, the animation is slowly charging and it became fully lighting. I love the charge animation, it really looked cool. But now, Tesla can only be using it defensively. Since Tesla coil was supposed to be designed. Uh, oh wow, just flashed a stupid jump. Okay, lucky for the speed buy. And now we're gonna open more of those special lucky blocks. As you can see, I got the gun thingy. I really doesn't know what it can do. I got the item shop. But this gun, I really don't know. As you can see, I got the raid blade. Just like what I said before, it will have a high chance. Oh, wait, what is my bird doing? As you can see, that's my clone. You can also get bad stuff here, obviously. But this gun, as you can see, I can slap people's gun and this actually looks like a pistol but i thought it will be some sort of weapon but in reality no it is not a type of weapon it is just a really regular tool i have no idea what it does but yeah this is all my video today if you like it please remember to leave that like subscribe and notification so you won't miss any more video of the channel and bye guys see you next time